This instrument allows us to measure um, the a volume of space which is only about 500 nanometers. So what we're working on at the moment is we're looking at underneath here. Yeah, there's uh, if you look in, there's a little, uh, they, there's a slice of meat. So what we have here is we have the the uh, deconstructed box, right? So these are actually the sorts of components that are inside those uh, those boxes, except. Uh, they're higher spec than in the manufacturer's uh, machines and they're generally a lot more flexible. So this allows us to do a bunch more experiments than we can possibly do using something that someone built unless they built a purpose for us. And then over uh, just, just in, over here we have another experiment which allows, I'll just talk to it, but that experiment is constructed with certain optics in it that allow us to measure uh, very, very um, what are called low energy vibrations. Uh, they're called phonon modes. One of the big advantages with this facility is actually the danger levels of the experiments. The hazard of the experiments gets more and more dangerous the further in here you get. So we, you can't get in here unless you go through all those doors. What do we use it for? Why, why make such a dangerous experiment? The reason we do that is because when I said earlier about how we got the electron to move from here, or sorry, we got it started, right? We started it on its journey. This is what tells us it's like a very fast video camera. So it's a 10 nanosecond laser pulse is the best way to describe it. And that's why in this room, if it's operating, you have to wear, I can show you the goggles actually.